In this video, we are going to cover superficial fungal infections, right? So fungal infections arise from a pathogen that is restricted to the stratum corneum with little or no tissue uh, reaction, so, right? So this is uh, like the basics of superficial fungal infections. They are restricted uh, to stratum corneum, right? The infections are limited to uh, human hair, nails, epidermis, and they are common in all regions of the world. Superficial fungal infections are rarely dangerous or life-threatening, right? And they are important because their worldwide distribution, frequency, and person-to-person -person transmission and morbidity are of concern, right? That's why we talk about uh, these fungi. I said they are rarely dangerous, but they are found almost everywhere and they occur uh, frequently. And some of them have the ability to be transmitted from one person to another. And this will just cause a necessary burden to the health system of the country. So let's talk about them and see how we can avoid this or how we can treat this. But avoiding is number one. As you know, prevention is better than cure, right? Right. So... Almost all African countries lack surveillance systems that can uh, provide us with surveillance and uh, predictions, knowing like a specific distribution, uh, right? Except South Africa, right? So South Africa, thank you so much. Right. So in SA, you actually have a national mycology reference laboratory. Uh, there was a study that was done here in Zimbabwe by. Favai and others in 2021. You have to look uh, at that study, right? Right, so the superficial fungal infections, Pteriasis vesicola and Tinea nigra. Right, so these two bugs are extremely superficial fungi, right? And their primary manifestation is pigment change on the skin. Right. Neither of these will cause symptoms, right? So we can only see uh, these in terms of changing in uh, skin color. They are not itchy. They don't cause any symptom. You just see that uh, the skin has changed, be it hyperpigmentation or hypopigmentation, right? So both are named for their respective skin manifestations, right? So pityriasis vesicola is multicolored and tinea nigra nigra for black so these one are black colored right so pityriasis vesicola is caused by malassezia farfa right this is a chronic superficial fungal infection which lead to hypopigmented or hyperpigmented patches on the skin with sunlight exposure um the skin around the patches will turn, but the patches themselves will remain white. Tinea nigra, on the other hand, is caused by Hortia venicae, formerly known as Exophialia venicae. This is a superficial fungal infection that causes dark brown to black painless patches on the soles uh, of the hands and the feet like so on the palm you can uh, I have a picture that I'm going to show you on the palm right so how does this look hypopigmentation you can see it here this is uh, a pityriasis vesicola right so you can see hypopigmentation on your left and you can see hyperpigmentation on your right Next is Tinea nigra. So you can see hyperpigmented macules on the palm, right? As you can see here. That's Tinea nigra. Uh, right, so how do you diagnose these bugs, right? The two of these uh, diagnosis is based on microscopic examination of skin crepings mixed on a slide with potassium hydroxide. As you can see here, this is a magnification of dermatitis that's melanized hyphae of the scrapings from the lesion using uh pipanical staining right so uh so if you mix those skin uh, uh crepings with potassium hydroxide 
this will reveal a high fair and spherical yeast as the potassium hydroxide will digest the non-fungal debris. Malassezia can look like spaghetti, right? So spaghetti will be high fat with meatballs. Meatballs will be spherical yeast, All right? So spaghetti and meatball is specific for Malassezia, right? Tinea vesicola, right? Spaghetti and meatballs. Treatment of these two bugs is very straightforward. Uh, spreading of dandruff shampoo containing selenium sulfide over the infected skin uh, is, is actually inexpensive and is an effective treatment. You can also use um, topical antifungals like uh, imidazole, for example, miconazole, ketoconazole. Thank you so much. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe.